Hey art nerds, I am checking back in with my studio revamp in progress. So I have here a white blotter and this is going to be useful for putting underneath certain things to help brighten the whole image. I also switched out my Fisker's craft sheet for an Ink Central's craft sheet. It's a little bit brighter on camera and it also doesn't hold stains as much so my surface won't look as kind of nasty as it looks sometimes. I also have some more of those lights that I installed and today I'm going to do a better job installing them. I'm going to redo the tape I have up here and I have some white masking tape. So I hope you guys are, oh, I'm also going to be taking down my Niwar mic mount and my camcorder because I have a new stand coming in and you guys can check out the video for that by clicking the card here. So let's go ahead and get cracking by removing all of these things. All right, so I have my additional lights installed. I still kind of want to do some behind my monitor, but I even added some over here because this, not that this is ever on camera, but it tends to be kind of a dark area when I'm recording. So I wanted to kind of fix that. I didn't really bother putting too many behind the light source. I feel like that's not going to do any good. So what's cool about these both being on a dimmer is let's use this piece of paper, for example, right? All right, this is our light source with all everything on. That is our light source with two on. That is our light source with none on. One, two, so we have a lot more light, but we still have a lot of reflective surface. So I got a large desk blotter. What I was really looking for was a large matte sort of desk protector in white. And all I could find online were like large, clear, shiny desk protectors, or rather all I could find on Amazon. So um, I ended up getting a paper one, which is gonna be kind of cool because I can also use this as like a scratch and a test surface. It's not as big as I'd hoped, I'm still kind of searching for a solution. A friend hit me off that uh, IKEA sells like just these white desk things that they use for their company. We don't have an IKEA and I'd prefer to check it out in person before I order it because I have a tendency of spending money on solutions that aren't solutions. So I'm going to have to hold off for a while until we make a trip out to IKEA. But I'm hoping that this will be a good stopgap solution and I think it'll be great in that um, I can kind of jot on it, I can doodle, I can sketch. I don't know, it could be fun. So I'm gonna go ahead and I guess figure out how I wanna place this on the table and get the rest of the table kind of picked up. A little, bird, a little birdie just reminded me that I'd bought wax paper to act as the diffuser for this because he was watching YouTube videos where they talk about fixing up your home studio for less and one of the recommendations is wax paper. Now I use tracing paper as a diffuser on my lamp but this is such a big surface area I thought wax paper might work better. So I'm going to go ahead and install that and that might actually cut down significantly on the glare problem. So the cool thing about wax paper is we can pull it as long as we want and then use the package to tear it. So it's actually gonna be hopefully a little easier to install.
So this is with most of the bulbs, not all the bulbs diffused. You guys can see up here, these are not, whereas next to them, these are. The further the, the wax paper is away, the more it diffuses the light. So in areas where it's basically right up on top of the lights, they're a little bit brighter. And the color isn't coming from um, individual LED bulbs. That's coming from the washi tape I used. But it shouldn't have a significant difference on um, how light affects, how the light quality is affected in videos. So this is where we are right now. My phone camera is compensating for the lighting a little bit. So it seems a lot darker than it actually is. Shadows seem a bit better. I don't know if they're a lot better than just one. I guess so. And then, as you guys can see with just one, we were having really, really harsh shadows. All right, so next we are going to install the brand new camera mount. I look forward to sharing it with you guys, so keep an eye out for that video. Bye!